Good morning. It's Wednesday, and I have uh, Dr. Ross Tomlin here, the president of TBCC, and Joel Stevens, Judge Joel Stevens. Hello. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Uh, we are going to talk about the criminal justice program, but I also wanted to start out maybe talking about the fall, no, winter registration is going to be open here soon, right? Yes. Hard to believe, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, we're already most of the way through the fall term. And winter registration, in fact, starts on the 27th, which is the Monday right after Thanksgiving, which is next week. Oh, my gosh. I know. So it's uh, it's coming up fast. Uh, Everybody should be getting their winter schedule of classes Mm -hmm. in the mail this week. And so I would really encourage you to get in there, find out what classes you want to register for, and get online starting at midnight on the 27th and start uh, registering. Our uh, enrollments have been up almost 20% this wow. fall from last fall. That's great. So uh, we actually, those classes in the evening, we don't have a classroom. They're all full. So it's been a great fall, a lot of interest in the classes. So, you know, you, you might want to get on and register as soon as you can uh, for winter classes. Yeah. Yeah, uh, for sure. Start filling up. So, and winter classes start the eighth. They is that start right? on January the eighth. Yes, and now the college is closed from Christmas Day through January second, mm-hmm. and then we'll have three days the end of that first week in January right. for people to come in and register. But of course, everybody can also register online. Right, because New Year's Day, January first, is on a Monday. It's on a Monday, so but you'll we're be closed also Monday, Tuesday, and then you you'll it. be open Wednesday through Friday. You got it. Which I always love winter term because, you know, we all, everybody likes to set, I like to call them goals, not New Year's resolutions, but goals for the year. (laughs) And if that is a goal that you have, start maybe earning a new certificate or changing your job, maybe you're really unhappy where you are, you want to start a new career, the college is a great place to do that. It is. Listen to me, I sound like an advertisement. (laughs) <laughs> and we love, love it. it. We yeah. love it. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> so yeah, it's great. It, look for the uh, look for the schedule. If you didn't get it, you can go stop by the college, right? Absolutely, we got tons of them. Do they have them at the library too? Like, are there other locations that have the schedule? Uh, we do drop some off at different locations, mm-hmm. so they should be able to find them there. Yes. Yeah, but if you can't, just stop by the college, and Absolutely. I'm sure someone will help you. So, uh, Joel, you are here today because we're going to talk about the criminal justice program. That's right. Yeah. Which you are an instructor in the program. I am. Yeah. I've been teaching at TBCC since about 2011 and it's been a wonderful experience. There's been a lot of changes in Mm -hmm. uh, the criminal justice field in that time, but right now is a great time to be going into criminal justice. When I started teaching in 2011, The economy was really struggling. Mm -hmm. A lot of agencies around the country had experienced layoffs. Mm -hmm. So my students were graduating and going out and competing for these entry-level positions, but they were competing often against already sworn, already trained officers from other departments Mm -hmm. who'd been laid off. So it was really competitive. There weren't that many openings. And it's basically the complete opposite today. Today, there are lots of openings. Lots of opportunities out there for entry-level positions. And uh, just a couple weeks ago, I got interviewed by a representative from uh, Homeland Security because one of our recent grads is in the final stages of the application process for a position in Homeland Security, federal awesome. law enforcement. Yeah. So it's, it's really exciting to see. It's, it's the reason that instructors like me do this, to, to see our mm-hmm. students, you know, in uniform, in the jobs that they want. Right. So very rewarding. So let's talk about some of the jobs that you, and I have your lovely book here. This is the Find Your Career Path book, which I think is an amazing book. There's, It goes through the four different... Career uh, technical cre- programs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's criminal justice, uh, manufacturing and industry, ag and natural resources, and business administration. Look at that. I can just flip through it. Yes. Um, but what I love about this book is that it not only shows you careers that are available, but also what you can do if you get a career pathway certificate, because you could be, you could go into the field of corrections technician, or if you continue to build on that and earn, uh, an associate's degree, you could then go on to do something additional. So I, I really like that this, um, book shows you kind of that. Can we talk about some of those jobs that are available in the different levels? Do you want this? 
Oh, I think I know. You know it? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but that's part of what's so great about criminal justice is it's a very broad field, and there's so mm-hmm. many different things you can do with it. Um, you, you know, you mentioned corrections. I've had students that were really interested in working with juveniles, so there's opportunities mm-hmm. to work for a juvenile department, be a counselor, things like that, especially if you go on and get a bachelor's degree. But, you know, it's it's a great... Having a certificate in criminal justice is a great foundation for any field within the that you would want to go into within law enforcement or public safety, as well as I've had several students who wanted to be attorneys. Mm-hmm. And, you know, if, if you take sure. uh, criminal justice classes, you know, you're taking my constitutional law class, my criminal law class, search and seizure. So when you get to law school, you know, you've already taken a lot of those topics. And obviously it's a different level of analysis of those topics right. um, but it's, it's a good foundation so there's a lot of things you can do with uh, a criminal justice certificate yeah i mean in this in the book and i know these are not all of the jobs these are just kind of a sampling of different areas that you could uh kind of delve into but you know they're like we mentioned corrections officer obviously obviously police officer um emergency dispatch that's dispatchers that's a kind of a big that's a huge part of law enforcement because they're the ones on that front line that are receiving those calls. I mean, those are all kinds of things that you could go, you know, paths that you could go down. Absolutely. Corrections is especially uh, worth noting because a lot of the uh, entry level positions, especially at sheriff's office, is mm-hmm. going to be in corrections. Right. So, you know, I always encourage my students to be open to the idea of working in corrections, mm-hmm. at least earlier in your career. And, you know, if you do a good job there, you can always go out on the road or do other things uh, yeah. when there are other openings. But, yeah, lots of opportunities in corrections. And uh, I think our program is well designed to get students ready to apply for those jobs and be competitive. Yeah. Uh, I have to take a quick break. And then I thought maybe we could talk about some of the instructors of the criminal justice program because they're all they're all local people. Is that right? Yes. Mostly, mm-hmm. yeah. Yes, yeah. Okay. Uh, you want the real thing? Quality beef right out of the smokehouse. Tillamook Country Smoker is pulling out a batch right now. Pioneers of a unique brand of beef jerky, Tillamook Country Smoker ships thousands of pounds throughout the world every day. Visit the retail store on Warren Street at Highway 101 in Bay City. They're open nine to five, seven days a week, with two foot long pepperoni sticks for a dollar and great deals on bags of jerky. The job's done right at Tillamook Country Smoker. Be sure to visit them online at tcsjerky.com. So we're talking with, uh, do you go by President President Ross Tomlin or Doctor? You prefer Doctor? Either way. Okay. Yeah, President of TBCC, Ross yes. Tomlin, and uh, Judge Joel Stevens, who is- Joel. What did I say? Joel's I said, good. No, I said, oh, okay, just Joel, gotcha. <laughs> I was like, what, did I call you Joe or something? No, no, okay. you're good. <laughs> Joel, uh. Uh, who is an instructor as, now, are you just an instructor? Do you kind of manage the program? I, I've um, taken on somewhat of. A I was going to say, I feel yes. like you're here He's because sort maybe of our you... lead instructor. Yeah, yes, okay. I'll call him that. I, I like, like that. that. I like yeah. the sound of that. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I will say, we at the college is very fortunate to have the high quality instructors in this program that we do. I mean, mm-hmm. these are all people that are in the field in different aspects of the field, working, right. and they have that experience and they know it, and and they have a passion for teaching mm-hmm. our students. So it's mm-hmm. it's a wonderful opportunity for the students. Yeah, I I agree with everything um, stated there. And, you know, going through undergrad and law school, some of my best and some of my worst instructors were adjuncts Mm -hmm. because (laughs) because they, you know, they all know the topic because they work in the field. Right. But that doesn't mean they're good teachers. Mm -hmm. And Mm -hmm. so one thing that the school's been uh, nice enough to let me be involved in is the hiring of some of our adjuncts when we had openings. And what we've really tried to do is focus on uh, individuals who not only have significant experience in the field that'll be an asset for our students, but they're also good instructors. Yeah. And, you know, we currently have adjuncts that are attorneys like myself, Mm -hmm. that are former detectives, um, you know, wide variety of uh, skill sets and backgrounds. But several of them I had personally taught with in other contexts, Mm, like mm -hmm. uh, classes for already sworn law enforcement officers, in-service things. So, you know, I knew these folks could teach, and they brought that skill set to the college, and I think they're doing a really good job. Mm -hmm. I mean, anyone who attended the graduation at TBCC last year, I think it was pretty obvious the, uh, you know, the mutual respect that uh, the criminal justice faculty has with the students. I think that was on full display. and. Mm -hmm. You know, we just couldn't be prouder. And um, 
Well, in our uh, KBCC Connections article this month is in the paper today, Mm -hmm. and uh, Joel wrote that article, and uh, then we've got an ad for the criminal justice program on the same page that has a picture of him with some of the graduates from our Mm -hmm. last spring graduation. Do a lot of, do the graduates typically stay here, or do they go elsewhere? Because, I mean, we have a lot, we have a lot of law enforcement agencies, not, I mean, not only law enforcement agencies, but uh, the jail. So corrections and then juvenile and things like that. Do a lot of fish them and tend game to stay? division of Oregon yeah. State Police. If you like hunting and fishing, you like forest being in the marine. Woods, there's I mean, there's all kinds. There. Yeah, it's we have a really. I mean, you know, Manzanita, Rockaway, Tillamook. There's a lot. The sheriff's department and the sheriff's department in and of itself has multiple departments. Like you said, I think they have forest and marine and patrol, and then the jail, obviously. Yeah. Um. So do a lot of the graduates stay here and? get jobs here or are they still kind of working towards that? A lot of them do, but a lot of them go other places too, mm-hmm. you know, and, and having, having the certificate looks really good on a resume, sure. especially with the hands-on experience that comes with that, mm-hmm. that we can provide, you know, our students complete a practicum typically at the end of their second year where they actually go out, work with an agency, they get TBCC college credits for doing this, but they're actually, you know, working in the field, doing ride-alongs, observing what law enforcement officers do. Mm -hmm. And we've got lots of partner agencies that we can hook them up with. So typically, um, you know, they'll come to me, I'll ask them, you know, what are you interested in? Do you want to work with kids? Do you want to work in corrections? You know, Mm -hmm. do you want to work fishing game, whatever? Mm -hmm. And we'll try to hook them up with a internship that you know, that will start them in that direction. It's a great networking opportunity for them. Yeah, for sure. And uh, really good resume fodder. (laughs) And we also have students uh, that graduate and then transfer on to a university to major in criminal justice. So uh, there's that pathway as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Western Oregon is a great example. Mm -hmm. They are a good partner Mm -hmm. Yeah, good criminal justice program Mm -hmm. if you want to go on and get a bachelor's. Um, that's where I got my bachelor's. So, you know, I, <laughs> okay. Maybe a little biased know there, but it's a good school. <laughs> well, good to know. Um, so how many, pe- how many students have gone through the program? Cause it got revamped a couple of years ago, right? Like last year or the year before it did. And you know, I, I don't have those exact numbers, but I know that, uh, you know, as the president said, enrollments up, mm-hmm. I think, Again, this is just a great time to be considering criminal justice. And, you know, whether you're a a high school student who's about to graduate and you want to be in law enforcement, but, you know, most law enforcement jobs, you can't even apply till you're 21. Sure. So, you know, come get the certificate first. Or, you know, you're a veteran who's maybe been on active duty. You're Mm -hmm. transitioning back into the community. Military service is so valuable, mm-hmm. um, and and it's a skill set that really translates well to law enforcement. Yeah. So for you sure. know, getting that certificate can help get your foot in the door there, or maybe you're just ready for a career change and public service. You know, it's a calling, and mm-hmm. if it's calling to you, uh, come talk to us. Now, can you? So you were talking before we went on air. You mentioned that you're teaching a civil law class right now. Civil liability and or civil liability. Yes. Yeah. So, and then I said, "Oh, that sounds like a fun class that anybody could take." Can you take any? Like, could anybody just pop into a class, and you don't have to be in the track, right? You could just Absolutely. take a class. You can take anybody. Because that can does take sound like <laughs> that yes. does sound like a really fun class to take. Because mm-hmm. we all civil just means us, like it's us against whoever else, and so. And it's not criminal. Very important, no yeah. matter what you do. Yeah, so, and you know, yes. some things you are liable for, maybe you don't realize you're liable for in life. But I do think that would be a really interesting class to take. I love having students, you know, from other tracks that are in the class. I think they bring a lot to the conversations we have. Mm-hmm. And yeah, you know, even if one of our classes has a prerequisite that you haven't taken, if if you come talk to us, you know, we'll, we'll typically waive those. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we just want to make sure you have a good foundation as far as writing skills and stuff like that. Because every one of my classes, you know, my students always write a paper. Uh, I, I want to develop those writing skills because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. no matter what field of criminal right. justice they're reports going into, and things. reports uh-huh. are important. Yep. Absolutely. Well, and uh, oh, Sydney was in here with with Ann Hubby. Ann, mm-hmm. yes, thank you. Um, last month, and was just talking about the new writing. Studio. Studio. Thank you. Gosh, man, I'm off my words today. Uh, The new writing studio that's kind of been developed and open. So don't get scared about having to write a paper because there are people there to help you write your papers. That's been very successful so far this fall. That's awesome. Yeah, very cool. And so important. 
It so is, In yeah. all fields, yes. Well, and even just, we were talking when they came in last month about how, you know, it's not, especially the kids going, you know, they're texting and they're writing tweets and, fa- you know, and they're doing very short uh, sentences and statements and using acronyms and that that's great for the you know talking to your friends but those aren't the type of writing skills that are going to really take you far in life correct so yeah it's it's great to have some type of uh studio like you called it um where people can go and get help and make sure that they're writing things appropriately and in the right format and all that kind of stuff because that is a lot especially when you're citing Absolutely. It's true. Exciting so, is not fun. <laughs> <laughs> no, but necessary. Yeah, we have tutors in there. They're working with students, and then students come in in groups, and they will be able to project their paper up on the wall and then go through it together. And oh, it's that's just a cool. wonderful uh, synergy of learning in there. Mm-hmm, so, mm-hmm. Yeah. Very cool. Uh, I have to take a quick break. We're going to talk about Tillamook Motor Company. Are you ready to go to work? Tillamook Motor Company has huge discounts on commercial vans, plus 0% financing for up to 72 months. Ford Transit vans stand head and shoulders above the competition. Configure the cargo doors to suit your job with a cargo box floor that is flat with near vertical sides for maximum usable space. Choose from a wide range of products designed to suit different trades, cargo dividers, multi-racks, bulkheads, and sliding platforms. Use your imagination to create one hardworking vehicle designed with you in mind. Take a test drive today at Tillamook Motor Company on the friendly corner of 5th and Main in downtown Tillamook. Tillamook Motor Company, a better place to do business. So we're talking with Joel Stevens (laughs) and uh, Dr. Ross Tomlin from TBCC. And I feel like we should maybe mention that winter registration is coming up in case. Because we did that right at the beginning in case someone tuned in late. Yes, again, winter registration begins on November 27th, which is the Monday right after Thanksgiving. and uh, A winter, week from this coming Monday. A week from this coming Monday. Thanksgiving is next week. Yes, <laughs> unbelievable. And the winter schedule should be in your mailbox this week, so you can go through and figure out between now and the 27th what you want to register for. Mm-hmm. And then and get then, online. And then classes start January, January 8th. 8th. So does reg- registration doesn't roll over uh, the start of the term, or is it for a couple days? <clears throat> no, it stops uh, midnight uh, the day of the first day of class. Uh, or the first day of reg- uh, classes. classes. So it goes uh-huh. all the way through January 7th at midnight. Mm-hmm. You can register. And uh, and then the it. college will be closed. Uh, Christmas Day. Christmas Day, through, which is a Monday this year. Right, through January 2nd. Okay, so a week, a little over, like a week and a half-ish. Right, kind of. so, yeah. so if you're a procrastinator about registering, you can come in January 3rd, 4th, and 5th. We'll be open all day. Uh, and... If you're already registered, you can register online usually, right? Unless yes. you have questions. But if you're Correct. a new student, they highly really recommend should coming come in. in. Right. Yeah. Now, are any of the criminal justice program classes online? I would. I feel like it. They probably like maybe some of the more general ed classes, but a lot of them have significant online components. Mm-hmm. And you know, one of the other uh, one of the other groups of people that I think our classes can be beneficial for is already sworn law enforcement mm-hmm. who are already working in the field. Mm-hmm. Um, because in a lot of agencies, the more education you have, the faster right. you can promote. Right. And, you know, if you're already working in the field, whether it's law enforcement or somewhere else, we know you're busy. So our criminal justice programs are primarily in the evening, mm-hmm. one night a week. And most of them do have either an online component or a lot of the work can be done on your home computer, you know, mm-hmm in your very limited spare time because we know you're busy. Right. right. So, uh, yeah, our classes are primarily in the evening and they're really designed for, you know, that can work for uh, recent high school grads, but it can also work for people who already have a career and maybe they're wanting to transition. Yeah, and they're looking, exactly. Well, and it's it's also a good, um, you know, taking a couple classes to see if that's what you want to do before you go Mm -hmm. down the path of trying to take the physical tests and applying and the interviews and all that. Yeah, a good taste of, you know, kind of an idea of what those careers might entail. For sure. Because it can be a little intense. It can. Yeah. It's not for, it's not for everyone. <laughs> and, and I wouldn't say it's for the faint of heart. Um, so 
Oh, I totally just lost my train of thought. Well, I also want to mention the fact that, you know, there's lots of funding opportunities for Mm -hmm. students. And and Joel mentioned, you know, the older student that has been out of school for a little while and wants to look at a different career. You know, we have that new career-to-career scholarship that has been very successful this fall. And that's where students that have been out of high school for at least five years can uh, apply for the scholarship that covers all their tuition for two years. And oper- it gives them opportunity to get that education um, into a new career. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um, the I remembered I was going to say the uh, what do you call these the the programs the paths the career pathways yes mm-hmm. is uh, they have they're set up so that regardless of how many students are enrolled in a class those classes are being held on those days and times. Yes, yeah, so the, the guarantee curriculum maps Thank that we you. have That's what I was looking for. Are basically says that any class in our career technical programs that's required, uh, we will guarantee that those classes will be offered in the term they, they show on our maps, mm-hmm. and uh, even if there's only one student in the class. And we do that to make sure that if students want to, you know, lean in, take all the classes mm-hmm. that are offered, that they can get that certificate in two years Absolutely. and move on. Yeah, I think that's great because it it can be very frustrating when you're, you know, you get your schedule all set up and then you've, if you have kids, you've got your childcare set up for whatever and your work's all set up and then something happens, the class cancels or it has to get moved or something like that. That can be really frustrating and kind of throw a wrench and can be maybe a little bit of a roadblock even. Oh, absolutely. Someone's kind of on the fence about not wanting to go to class and then they throw, you know, the class gets moved or canceled. Well, that was just a sign I wasn't supposed to be going to class. I've, mm-hmm. I've taught classes with, you know, 20-something students, and I've taught classes with a couple students. Mm-hmm. And there are benefits to each. Oh, sure. But, you know, smaller classes, there's a lot of opportunity for more individual discussions. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, we're, you know, we're going to be there either way. So so that will not happen. Yeah. Yeah, we're, it, we're very proud at the college that we're able to offer that opportunity for our community. And that's Definitely. for all four of the career technical Correct. programs. Yes. So if you're looking to be, I mean, we talked about it in the beginning, criminal justice, manufacturing and industrial tech, agricultural and natural resources, and business administration, which the business administration degree is all online, All right? online. It doesn't yes. have to be. You can still go in. Are there still no, classes? It's, it's pretty much all is online. It? Yes. So. Which is great. It. It also has its pros and cons because it's great to be able to do that stuff whenever you want, but that means you have to be dedicated. <laughs> now, some of the classes are hybrid, which uh, requires students like one to come day in, in and then right. one and most day of the online. work is done online. For yeah. Those, yeah, which is great because a lot I would think a lot of people in business administration are probably in jobs already and right. looking to further their career or something like that in that field. So. Yeah, right. it can be hard working and going to school at the same time. Oh, absolutely. For sure. Yeah, but I think the college does a great job of kind of helping people with that. And then I also wanted to mention um, the green dot. What's it called? Man, I am off on my words today. <laughs> the OE oh, online. The OERs? OERs, yes. thank you. Open Education Resources. Yeah. So, so can you explain what those are? Well, those are f- free or very low-cost textbooks. And mm-hmm. so we've made a real commitment at TBCC to implement as many of those uh, free or low-cost textbooks as we possibly can. So when you go through the winter schedule, you'll see the green dots next to the course uh, descriptions in the schedule, and those mean they have OERs attached to them, mm-hmm. which means the textbook cost will be Minimal. virtually nothing. Yeah. Yes. Because, man, some of those textbooks, when I was in college, I rented because I didn't <laughs> want to pay 200 bucks for a book that was then going to sit on my bookshelf after yep. a couple months. Yeah. And then what am I going to do with it? You know, by the time you sell it, it's already... There's a new edition, and nobody wants the edition that you have. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, we've we've actually saved students over two hundred fifty thousand dollars in the last three years. That's awesome. Of textbook costs, which is yeah. huge. Yeah. yeah, especially when you're focused on you know going to school, and then you you get all your you know what your tuition's going to cost, and then you get this big chunk of a bill for books. Sometimes that can be a little bit of a deal breaker. Absolutely. That's a lot. Yeah. Yes. 
Uh, we have about a minute left. Is there anything else you wanted to mention? Well, so you mentioned the four career technical programs we have. We're also in the process of developing a standalone forestry program that'll be offered starting next fall. Cool. So we're excited about that, and we're working with our advisory committee in Oregon State, which we'll have a, um, an articulation with, mm-hmm. and uh, so students will be able to either take the forestry program here and, and go to work or transfer over to OSU and get their bachelor degrees. Very cool. Yeah. Love that. And if you're listening to this and, you know, you're maybe kind of on the fence, not sure if criminal justice is the way to go, call the college. Mm -hmm. They can arrange a meeting with me or one of the other instructors. That's that's something that we volunteer our time to do. And I've met with several students who hadn't taken any classes yet, Mm -hmm. but they just kind of wanted to see what it was all about. So if you need more information contact the college and you know I'd be happy to talk to you and I know several of the other adjuncts would as well so and I should give out the phone number I'm also going to go out the website tillamacbaycc.edu and their phone number is 842-8222 there's three twos in there 8222 that's it Very thanks good. gentlemen for coming in this morning you're welcome thank you yeah. thanks thank you. for having us uh yes. Don't forget Senior Meals, 1130 at St. Mary's by the Sea in Rockaway Beach every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Also noon every weekday at the Cuyahwanda Community Center in Pacific City, as well as the Tillamook Senior Center at 4th and Stillwell. Cost is $3 for seniors and six seventy five for everyone else. The Eagles are holding a Prospector's Membership Drive. Sounds like a fun time with Chili Bar, Raffle, and more. It'll be Saturday from 5 to 7 at the Eagles Lodge. Tapa's newest comedy closes this weekend. Money Matters has shows on Friday and Saturday at 7 and Sunday at 2. Tickets for this hilarious show are available at Diamond Art Jewelers, 842-7940. On Saturday, the Pioneer Museum is holding the first annual Mook Book Fair and Sale from 10 to 2. Go meet local authors. They'll have a variety of books for sale in all genres. And also on Saturday, Madeline's is having a holiday open house and book sale with Amanda Parkinson. That's at Madeline's from 10 to 4 on Saturday. And tomorrow we'll have Commissioner David Yamamoto on. Thanks again, guys, for coming in this morning. It was a pleasure. Thank you. you. Bet. Thank yep. you. And thank you, Tillamook, for listening.